Welcome to Rock Solid Productions, where in this video we are finally getting to hook up and test out our TurboGrafx-16 we bought back in January of 2020, thanks to the folks at Stone Age Gamer and the Level Hike High Definition Cable design for the TurboGrafx-16. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey everybody, Gary here with Rockstar Productions. Now, before we get into today's video, I just want to take a second and say thank you for stopping by and checking out what we have going on here today with this cable from Level Hike designed for the TurboGrafx-16. If you like what you see here, I invite you to check out some of the other videos that we have here on the channel, including our video where we picked up our TurboGrafx-16 at the 2020 Mo Game Con Junior, one of the few conventions we actually got to go to here in 2020. And if you like what you see here, if you want to see more, it's more important than ever, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and most importantly, hit that bell notification. That way you are kept up to date each and every time we upload new content. And what I want to know from you, the TurboGrafx-16 is known for its great assortment of shooters and shoot 'em ups What's your favorite? Uh, I have played a ton of like Galga 99 uh, on the TurboGrafx-16 Mini, which is what's playing behind me. Great little system. I cannot wait to get my hands on. Well, I've got my hands on it. I can't wait to hook it up and test out the actual thing. So. A while back, the folks from Stone Age Gamer, ta-da, asked me, hey, do you want to check out some of the cables from Level Hike designed to be able to go from a retro-style console to a modern HD TV? I'm like, sure. And we've already tested out their Super NES cable. I have the box sitting on top of our Final Fight cabinet over here. If you want to check that video out, we'll have a link to it right up there for you. But the one I told I really wanted to test out was this guy here, the one for the TurboGrafx-16. Why? Well, like I said, I have a TurboGrafx. I've never actually hooked it up. I've never applied power to it. I got it from Pat from Show Me Retro. I will have a link to his channel down below for you guys to check out in a pinned post. Great guy, gave me an awesome deal on this, but it was just the system. No games, no controllers, no hookups. Well, we now have the hookup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna throw it on the bench, we're gonna see how it comes out of the box, and we are going to test it out with my entire TurboGrafx-16 library. Don't worry, it's only three games. Let's get to the bench. So here we have the Level Hike TurboGrafx HD cable on the bench. Again, high definition cable for retro game consoles. It's pretty much the same box as what we see with the uh, Super NES and with the PlayStation cable. It's just designed for and has the sticker for the TurboGrafx. You know, nothing really on the back besides the fact it's calling out compatible with HD TVs, plug and play, better image. So let's take this guy out of the box. So in the packaging, we get three basic cables. We get uh, what looks to be about a four foot HDMI cable. We have a micro USB cable for power. And then we have the actual dongle itself. And there's some interesting features on the dongle here. Let's take a closer look. So looking at the dongle itself, you do have a four by three, 16 by nine switch. We're gonna go ahead and do the right thing and set it to four by three. I didn't used to be like that, but now I am. You do have a power LED right there micro usb input for power if need be now the super nes one that i tested out i didn't need to hook up external power so it'll be interesting to see if this can get everything that it needs right from the system the back of the dongle is vented so it will help radiate heat and everything and then on this end this is your regular turbo graphics style connector Pretty simple and straightforward. Now, one of the things I do love about this design is the fact that it is a dongle. I can use whatever length HDMI cable uh, that I want to on this. So now I want to see, like I have never hooked up an audio connection or, or AV connection to my turbo graphics before. I want to see how this goes together. And I actually have the system right here and it plugs into that massive mamma jamma right there. And uh, it's trapezoidal shape. So we are going to go right like that pretty simple and straightforward um again i'll be interested to see if this will provide power right off the system or if i will need to utilize the external power supply here um, it doesn't get much simpler than this so let's test it out let's see how it looks and plays all right it's running this is a beautiful thing it actually I'm pretty impressed by the fonts and everything on here, how sharp it's looking. Now, I am using my turbo stick here. I got locally from a uh, another 
Turbo Graphics Collector. Now, one thing I did run into upon initial hookup, I wasn't getting any signal out. I did need to connect the, uh, the power supply to this. I also needed to make sure that I had that connector really pushed in tightly on the back of the Turbo Graphics. It wasn't making uh, enough contact. It'll make kind of a snap when you get it in enough. It reminds me very much so of like the Eon Gaming GCHD. Check that out too if you have a GameCube. Um, but this is Keith Courage. I've never seen it before, so I don't know how accurate or whatnot the colors look. So I will have to rely on you down in the comments to let me know what you think of the accuracy. Now, I look at myself as like the, the target audience for this. I never had a Turbo Graphics growing up. I just want to be able to hook it up and play. And I'm not seeing any jail bars. I'm not seeing any you know, weird artifacting. I will say kind of like their Super NES cable. Um, again, not having seen the original uh, image quality on this, the reds look really, really hot um, and, and oversaturated. Uh, but we're gonna try out Keith Courage here. Like I say, I've never played on it. It's the first time I've ever played on a Turbo Graphics. Uh, feels nice and responsive, I'll say that. I mean, I hit a button and it, oh, dies. Um, one life, what? Okay, we'll try this again. Getting a little bit of a shimmering, and you can notice that, especially in the roofs and whatnot. Um, now, one thing in talking to uh, Mike Chi from RetroTank, my understanding is that this is actually outputting uh, 480i, not 480p, which will get you that, that shimmering effect. I am Wise Wizard. Do you want to purchase any bolt bombs now? The bombs will cost 100 gold. Will you pay me now? Sure, okay. Very colorful. Um, I will say one of the games I do want to pick up for this system is Super Adventure Island. Okay, that was weird. That's super weird, he's got a mech? Okay. Oh, that feels better as far as just a snappier, more responsive uh, walking pattern and everything here. Almost reminds me a little bit of um, uh, Metal Storm. I mean, I'm digging this. This is pretty good. Okay, this is actually really, really fun. I'm, I'm liking this. All right, we are going to pause it right there. So that's Keith Courage. Again, this is my first experience ever playing it. Let me know in the comments, how does it look? How accurate does it look? Now we're gonna switch it up to World Class Baseball. So here we have World Class Baseball. I'm a big, big baseball fan. I love MLB The Show. Um, the newer RBI baseball games, not so much fun to me. Looking at this, again, I'm seeing that shimmering, which is indicative of a 480i signal. So be aware of that. Um, some of the characters look a little blurry. Again, I don't know if that's how they were to begin with. Um, but we're gonna do just a little bit of gameplay here. We'll do a versus mode. Can I not do versus? I guess I have to open mode. And we will take the bears. Versus the apples. Music is pretty good. Oh, way outside. Come on, Joe Boo. Lefty lefty matchup here. As far as. Oh, foul ball. As far as two lefty hitters in a row. Oh, bean ball. That's something you would expect out of the Cardinals. Oh, nice break at the end. Oh, stay out of the double play. Safe. Nice. A little hit and run action there. I have actually called baseball games on the radio in the past. Oh, popped him right up. Out. Half an inning complete. We have two left on base. One hit batter, one single. Now to the bottom of the first we go. Ball on the inside. So joystick basically moves the pitcher left or right. Two doesn't do anything. So it seems like you've got one pitch. Ooh, just a bit outside. 
All right, I thought I had thrown a first initially and went to home instead. So up, down, left, right. So up second, right third, or right first, left third, down home. Ah. Okay, I am not good at this baseball game. We are going to check out our last game here for the Turbo Graphics with the level high cable. And this is one I just picked up about two weeks ago. Fantasy Zone. And not only is it Fantasy Zone, it's complete. Wow, that's bright. <laughs> Looks even brighter than on... Uh, pretty sure this is on the... Uh, on the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. Oh, we're, we're gonna turn on the turbo on that one. Okay, again, this is, it's very responsive. It's really super colorful. I like this a lot, this is fun. Um, it's a different take of the side-scrolling shoot-em-up, but I mean, this is definitely one of those games that uh, the TurboGrafx was really known for. Now there are bombs too I can drop if I wanted to. I'm sure I'm probably frustrating people who are great at this game. It's like, this isn't that hard, you suck. You're even cheating using turbo, man, you suck. You're really terrible. Although that hit detection seemed really, really off there. We'll do one more real quick before we wrap it up here. Yeah, if you don't turn around, you can't shoot a guy, can you? Okay, so I want the shop. Let's see what we can get. Laser beams, what do we have? We only have uh, 3,200 to spend, it looks like. Or 2,000 to spend, there we have. So we're gonna do the laser beam. And we will do a wide beam. And a big wing. Do we want the wide beam or the laser beam? We'll take the wide to start. Oh, that's freaking awesome. I need a table to play on uh, with this joystick playing on my lap is not the uh, not the greatest, but this is freaking awesome. What do I have here? I guess I still had, oh, it undid my weapons, damn it. Now, I did have some initial issues uh, with the hookup, which could have been me as far as uh, I may not have had everything seated on the, uh, on the outputs like I needed to, which may be why right now I do have power connected to the micro USB cable, but it may not be required. We'll test it out before we do the final wrap up here. Oh, damn. All right, it's time to wrap things up. So what do I think of the Level Hike HD cable for the TurboGrafx-16? Well, let me give you guys some perspective on this real quick. Have you ever gotten a birthday or a Christmas present that you couldn't play with right away? Like either something was backordered, something was unavailable. I'm looking at you, Star Wars Holiday Gift Pack. Something just wasn't available to complete a gift. Well. That's how I have felt about my TurboGrafx-16 since I got it back in January from Show Me Retro. And not his fault, I just haven't found anything to be able to hook it up and work in the way that I wanted it to. This allows me to hook it up. It gives me a crisp picture. It is a little bit saturated on the reds. I will say that it seems to be kind of their MO with the way that their cables work. But it was responsive. It felt good, uh, it was vibrant. It did have that 480i shimmer, so that is there. Uh, but overall, I am very happy with this. And I look at myself for the TurboGrafx-16, normally I am not the customer for a product like this. For the TG-16, I totally am, because I'm, I'm not a hardcore passionate fan. I just wanna hook it up and play and have it look and not have it look like a hot mess. And there are other adapters out there that well, let's just say some corners have been cut on them. You guys kind of know where I'm going with that there. Um, this, it looked good, it sounded good, it was responsive, it did everything that I wanted to and then some. And best of all, 
it's budget friendly. So uh, very good on level hike for making another decent quality cable. Thanks to the folks over at Stone Age Gamer for sending us this to check out. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for the shirt too. Always need new and additional shirts out there as well. I will have a link below in a pinned post where you can check this out on their website. And the cool thing too, to the end of August 2020, they are offering a special promo code for Rock Solid Productions viewers. I will have that promo code down below as well. Make sure you check it out before the end of August. Thank you guys for helping me out with making this a reality for making it possible for me to finally play my real Turbo Graphics. It's a beautiful thing. It's the first time I've ever been able to play a real Turbo Graphics. And don't get me wrong, I love the Mini. There's just something super cool about this. Now, if you do have any other comments or questions, as always, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. And don't forget what I asked you at the top of this video. I want to know what is your favorite shooter on the TurboGrafx-16. There are so many great ones out there. I want to know down in the comments. Now, if you do have any other questions or comments, as always, feel free to email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can hit me up on Twitter at rocksolidstudios, Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions, and Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video too, if you like what you see here, if you want to see more, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and more important than ever, hit that bell notification. That way you are notified every time we do upload new content. YouTube, they're going away and killing email notifications. Thanks, YouTube. Now, if you do want to help support the channel financially, you can do so in a couple of different ways. First and foremost, you can head on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you get early access to all of our content, exclusive content, and more, including email notifications when we do post new content. A cheap shot on YouTube, I know that, but you get the point. You can also go ahead and become a channel member here on YouTube as well for only $1.99 a month and goes up from there depending on how you want to contribute. And you also get channel badges where the longer you're subscribed, the badge kind of changes to go from an 8-bit to a 16 to a 64-bit graphic that will show up when you comment on a video if we have a live chat. And then you do get all of the same exclusive you know, access to uh, videos early, exclusive videos, and a whole lot more. And finally, you can head on over to our Teespring store and pick up some Rock Solid Productions merchandise. We have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, coffee mugs. We have masks if you're worried about PPE. A ton of great looking things featuring cartridges from the 8-bit era through current and modern cartridges as well. We have gone through and done a whole lot of work to update our offerings very recently. So I hope you folks out there like it. So I like this. This for me is great. It's plug and play, it's easy to use. I don't have to worry about modding the system. I don't have to worry about trying to get my hands on the turbo booster or anything like that to get component out or composite output. This does it for me in one simple cable. I thank again the folks from Stone Age Gamer for sending me one of these to check out. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.